So, this video is made for you if you have seen or created reports on data with a needlessly high numbers of decimals for a percentage, let's say 56.8907%, uh, but computed on a small sample, like 36 people. This is the issue of fake precision. Writing down too many decimal numbers is a relatively common and innocent mistake that we can see a lot whenever percentages are displayed. It is still a bad practice. Let me show you a very simple example where someone is trying to represent the repartition of three variables through a pie chart for a limited sample size, let's say 42 um, people who have been surveyed. Uh, let's imagine we have surveyed uh, 42 answers regarding what is your favorite pastry or the favorite pastry of the respondent with three possible answers croissant, muffin and donut and instead of presenting just the number of answers the beginner mistake is to provide very detailed percentages like 70.59% of respondents prefer croissant instead of saying just 29 respondents it is not technically wrong but it makes no sense when the sample size is too small typically below 100. Writing down the decimals makes only sense when you have important sample size, hundreds, thousands, tens of thousands of answers, for instance. And even then, sometimes it's still not really informative and simple percentages like 70% do the trick perfectly well. And when you have small samples, it is best to display raw numbers like 36 than to display 70.66%, uh, for instance. Such mistakes are not strictly speaking fallacies nor misleading data representations, but they still decrease the credibility of whoever is trying to make a point with the data. Even data collected from the most expensive equipment or from the most trusted polling institutes should be taken with a grain of salt. This is all the more obvious when you have producted data yourselves. You have used the scientific apparatus a couple of times in your life, then you know that often they malfunction or provide imprecise results. That a mistake in the calibration step or whatever means that you will not have totally reliable data. Fake precision is especially annoying when a generalization is done. Let me give you an example with the debates over the efficiency of masks during the, the COVID pandemic. If you hear something like, you have 35 or 32% less chances to catch the virus if you wear a mask, I can assure you this is a case of fake precision. Which masks are we talking about? FFP2 that have stronger filtering abilities or the common masks everyone wears? In what context? In the street, in a mall? You need to be precise. This 35.32% uh, number came out of an experiment. They, they didn't pull data from every possible context, did they? And if you apply it in a general statement, if, then the statement suffers from both hasty generalization and fake precision. Anyway, do not be overly confident with regards to your, the precision of your data and provide numbers with a reasonable number of decimals, if any.